Okay, so we're looking at ChemLive 13.15. We're going to figure out what's in our attic and what's in our basement so we can do our data table. So that's a V, M and an N. We've said that what goes in the basement is going to be a, a whole number. So if we have a look at this line here, it's giving us a whole number. So we have 25 centimeters cubed of 0.12 molar NaOH. And our ratio from the equation is one. We're then looking for the other tighter figure, which is down here. And this has to be our question mark. And if we read along this line, it says calculate the concentration of. So we have 12.35 centimeters cubed. This is our question mark and our ratio is one. We also have to look to see, do we have any extra info in the question? And if you read up here in the first line, we have 25 centimeters cubed of vinegar is going to be diluted to 100 centimeters cubed we have to work out what that dilution factor is so it's a one in four so it's a dilution factor of four and we will use that eventually so as you've said we always do our first principles maths to find our concentration in big m so to remind you this is going to be our way in when we start and when we're up here, it'll tell us how many moles are in a thousand centimeter cubed. We divide by a thousand to find out what's in one centimeter cubed at the bottom. When we go up, we're always multiplying. So here we're multiplying by a tighter volume. It's then going to give us the moles and we're going to apply our ratio. We then divide by our other tighter volume to find out what's in one centimeter cubed of that. And finally, to finish it off, we multiply it by a thousand. And that's going to tell us our big M value, our moles in a thousand centimeters cubed. We are also going to be using our mass triangle. And finally, we will be have to do a percent weight per volume calculation. So we're going to start our maths. We are going to calculate our big M, our moles per liter and our grams per liter. So we've said our way in is the 0.12 big M. I always like to say what that is. So it's moles in a thousand centimeters cubed. So we are starting up here. We now have to find out what's in one centimeter cubed. So to do that, we're going to divide by a thousand. And when we do that, we get 1.2 by 10 to the minus four moles in a centimeter cubed. And again, however, your calculator gives you your number, that's what you use. So that brings us down to this little bottom of our W here. Our next step is we have to multiply by our tighter volume, which in this case is 25 centimeters cubed. So when we do that, we end up with three by 10 to the minus three moles, and that is in 25 centimeters cubed. And that's our first tighter volume. Brings us up to here. We now apply our ratio and the ratio is one is to one. So that implies I must have three by 10 to the minus three moles, but this time it's gonna be in 12.35 centimeters cubed of my acid. So we, we've now applied our ratio. So we're that part of our W. We then have to find out how many moles there is in one centimeter cubed of this so we divide it by the tighter volume so oops 12.35 so when we do that we get 2.42 by 10 to the minus 4 moles in a centimeter cubed so that has brought us to here and then finally to finish it off we are going to multiply by 1000 and that's going to give us our big M value. And when I do that, it's going to give me 242915. So if we look at our data table, we, if in doubt, you default to three significant figures. But up here in our data table, you will see that there are four significant figures here. So if I count one, two, three, four, this is my fourth significant figure. I always look at the number next to it to see what I do. The one doesn't change anything. So to four significant figures, two, four, two, nine, big M. And this is my diluted vinegar concentration. We always then go mass triangle. So we multiply moles by our molar mass. So it's going to be not two, four, two, nine. It's going to be by our molar mass of ethanoic acid. 
So it is going to be 12, 1 by 3, 12, 16, 16, and 1. And again, I'm showing all of my numbers so that if I made a mistake down here, I would only lose a mark as opposed to writing in the wrong number completely, which loses me, say, three marks. So we're multiplying that number by 60. And when I do that again to three or four significant figures, I'm going to be end with 14.57 grams in a litre. And again, this is my diluted vinegar. So that's where we've always said, that's where we go in terms of our maths. If we have to annotate anything and you can't do it, as long as you've laid it out like this, it is fine. But we go back now and we have a read of our question. And up here it's asking me to calculate the concentration of ethanoic acid in the original vinegar in moles per litre, in grams per litre, in percent weight per volume. So I'm going to have to use this concentration and I'm going to multiply it by my dilution factor. So 0.2429. And I'm going to multiply that. My dilution factor was 4. So when I do that, I now have 0 0.9716 big M. So this is my answer to part A. Over here, this is my concentration in grams per litre. So again, I'm going to multiply that by my dilution factor. So it's going to be 14.57. grams per litre by four and when I do that I end up with 58.28 grams in a litre so this is going to be my part b and then finally we have to put it all into percent weight per volume so again if I had money for every time candidates get this wrong so it is grams per 100 centimetres cubed so I know if I have 58.28 grams in a litre, now I divide that by 1,000, I find out what's in 1, I multiply it by 100 to find out what's in 100, and I will end up with 5828 grams per 100 centimetre cubed, which is the exact same as saying 5.828% weight per volume, and this is going to be my